Blake here. It's been quite a year in the Comics Cafe. At Christmas, I decided to follow Jesus. Since then, I've learned so much about Jesus. I'm so glad I decided to follow him. My sister Bree, on the other hand, she's not quite sure. She didn't really like talking to me about it. One day though, we couldn't avoid talking about Jesus anymore. It all started with a history report. This nation, under God, shall have a new birth of freedom. That government, of the people, by the people, and for the people, shall not perish from the earth. You memorized the entire Gettysburg Address. Impressive. Thanks. You know, I just love doing these living history reports every year. Uh, who's your report on, Brie? I don't know yet. Brie, we have like two days before we have to present our reports to the class. I know, I know. I mean, I thought I decided on someone, but I just can't figure this person out. They don't make any sense at all. Who is it? It's, okay. This is Mrs. Kirby's idea. Okay. And this person was supposed to be super easy to write about, and I thought I'd be done by now. Brie, what did you choose? I chose Jesus. That's a great choice. I was wondering about him, and Mrs. Kirby said that I could learn more about him by reading the Bible. And I thought I could do two things at once by giving a report about him, too. Okay, sweet. No, it's not sweet. <laughs> I mean, Jesus seems cool. I just don't understand who he actually was. Well, whatever you are, be a good one. What? That's something Abe Lincoln said. <laughs> Look, Bree, this project is all about learning new things. I didn't know anything about Elizabeth Blackwell before this. Who? She was the first woman in America to get a medical degree. She saved a ton of people's lives. Well, the Bible says Jesus healed people too, but... Oh, hello, yes! Yes, I know! <laughs> oh, the name's Great. Alexander the Great. Maybe you've heard of me? King of Macedonia. Macedonia? No, no, I'm the guy who's famous for never losing a battle. The guy who named 70 cities after the coolest thing in the world. Myself. And I even named one city after my horse. Yes, and he was from Macedonia. Did you do any research? Research? Everything I learned, I learned from books. Jesus is supposed to be a king too, but he didn't act like Alexander, and he healed sick people, but I don't think he had a medical degree. And then there's all this stuff about miracles. Oh, I should pick Jesus. Oh, he would have been way easier to research than Alex the G. I've got like 20 Bibles at home. I could have just walked over to one, picked it up, and oh, there's everything you need to know about Jesus. But Jesus can't have actually done all this stuff, can he? I mean, stopping a storm by talking to it. You know, it, it seems crazy, but I think that Jesus actually did all that. Yeah, yeah I, I mean, Jesus was pretty awesome. Character is like a tree. Reputation is like a shadow. And if you see, mm. <laughs> um, oh, are you gonna help me? Yeah, you can help me, just careful, careful, careful. Yeah, yeah. Ow, 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 okay, okay, okay. Who is Jesus? I don't know. Look, if you need any help, Bree, I'll just be in the back. I don't know why Mr. and Mrs. K have all this medical stuff, but it is perfect for this project. I know, I was back there the other day, and they have this just huge costume of a duck. Where'd they get all this stuff? My name is Alexander, you can call me the Great Cause I'm gonna rule the world, guess it's just my fate I conquered Persia, Tyre, and Athens too They say I had red hair, but we don't know if that's true My wit is sharp, my brain's colossal Cause I was trained by Aristotle Got 70 cities I named after me Cause I'm just so great at creativity Scared of cats, not great with trust, oh yeah And I have a horse named Bucephalus Oh, oh, that was pretty great, dude Yeah, yeah that was... Something. I'm so ready for this presentation. Bree, you're up next. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll try. Blake, you ready to be my assistant? Oh yeah, right, right, okay. Hello, 
I'm Jesus, and I love to heal people. If you're sick, I can make you better. Oh, oh, I'm so sick. Here, let me help. Wow, I feel so much better. But is that it? I mean, you know, Jesus did more than just heal people, <laughs> so. Hello, I, Jesus, am back to teach you some amazing things. You see, I'm also a teacher. Let's see, do to others what you want them to do to you. That's a good one. Oh. You are the light of the world. I don't know what that means, but lights, cool. Okay, what about? I'm also a king, but I was born in a manger and I didn't ever really have any money or a throne, so I don't really get how I was king. And once, I fed 5,000 people with some bread and fish, which makes me a chef. And then I do things like stop storms, which means I'm a meteorly, meteor, a weather person. Brie, I just. And then I do things like walk on water, which can only mean I'm a magician. But Jesus didn't do magic. Miracles are different. I don't know. Okay. I don't get who Jesus is. I mean, who can do all these things? Miracles and teaching and leading people. And then, and then there's that weird story where he dies and comes back to life, which is totally impossible for anyone. You know, you don't. <laughs> Like, you don't believe. You do believe that Jesus came back to life, but like, that's not possible for anyone. But that's just it, Brie. You know, Jesus isn't just a good person. You know, he did things that only God could do. Only God, Jesus taught about God. He did, but there's more to it than that. Jesus is God, God with us. Right, that's why we worship him after all, because he's more than just a great guy. Yeah, and I mean, he's a greater leader than Abe Lincoln. He's a greater healer than any doctor. And he was a way better king than uh, Alexander. And most importantly, Jesus is God himself. I don't know, I, how do you know that? How can you be sure? This is a huge deal. I have to think about this somewhere else. Three. Hello, I'm your host, Becca, and it is my pleasure to introduce Bible Character Theater with Jackson as Peter. So Jesus, you had a question for us? Jesus asked his disciples. Who do people say I am? Well, Jesus, they say the craziest things about you. You know your cousin, John the Baptist? Some people think that you're him. Other people think you're an Old Testament person who's come back to life. The problem was, Jesus wasn't any of those people. Jesus wanted his followers to know he was greater than they ever imagined. So, Jesus asked another question. Who do you say I am? Uh, well, I, you, I, I, you, mm. Let's think about this. Once we were out on a stormy sea at night, and it felt like our boat was sinking right out from under us. Then suddenly, Jesus talked to the waves. Peace, be still. The storm just stopped. Another time, I actually saw Jesus raise someone from the dead. Jesus, like, called to this guy from outside the cave he was buried in, and the guy actually walked out. That was crazy. Another time, some people took this guy who couldn't walk and lowered him down into the house we were in. And Jesus forgave the guy's sins. Only God can do that. I know who Jesus is. You are the Messiah. You are the son of the living God. You are right, Peter. Yes! High fives all around, let's go. Peter realized something important that day. Jesus wasn't just another person. He wasn't just a doctor who helps people, a king for people to follow, 
or a teacher who talks about God. Jesus was way more than any of those things. Peter called Jesus the Son of God, which was another way of saying Jesus was God himself. In fact, you could say, Jesus is God with us. God came to live on earth and showed all of us the way we were made to live too. Yeah, that's why we disciples followed Jesus, no matter what. That's a big reason I followed Jesus too. We'll be back next time for more Bible Character Theater. See you then. And so, Dr. Elizabeth Blackwell founded her own infirmary, as well as a place where women could be trained as doctors, giving medical care to many. All right, that was pretty good, but you know what would make it even better? I'm not wrapping it. Okay. Well, uh, Bree's probably already back at home, so I'm gonna head out before my mom starts to worry. Do you think if I walked with you, you could help me come up with another verse for my rap? I, I can't think of anything that rhymes with Gordian Knot. Gordian Knot, uh, let's see, how about... Well, I had better lock up. Mr. and Mrs. K will be back tomorrow morning, thankfully. Hey! Bree? You're still here? Uh, yeah. Where are y'all going? Well, it's, it's past closing time. We all thought you went home. Oh, yeah, I, I just can't do my report on Jesus. That's okay. Uh, you could pick someone different. What about uh, Amelia Earhart? She's cool. I guess. I just can't stop wondering. How do you know Jesus actually, like, came back to life? Like, do you think he's really God? I do. And there are a lot of reasons to believe that Jesus did all those amazing things. But it was so long ago. But a ton of people noticed what Jesus was doing. And Mr. K was showing me that a bunch of people back in Jesus' time were writing about him, even people who didn't follow him. Really? Mm -hmm. And when Jesus died and came back to life, Jesus' friends put their lives on the line to tell people about him. And I don't think that they would have done that if Jesus didn't really come back to life. This isn't just a story. I mean, if Jesus is really God, then I have to really think about that and care. And I, I just don't know. That's okay. It was a really big deal for me too. I didn't hear about Jesus until I moved here a year ago. I still feel like I barely know anything. Thanks, Taylor. But, um, I'm not sure about following Jesus yet, and I, I hope that's okay. Of course. We're still friends, no matter what. Yeah, friends.